these guys. So I think what I'll do is, since this is kind of the roadblock, is I'll use Sunlight Blade for, for him, and then we'll use some resins on the others uh, once I get past that guy. Because the, uh, the Malata Drake Keepers are the worst. I sort of think that... I think the big problem is actually doing the Power Stance thing, because it uh, leaves you open longer. On the other hand, if you're not power stancing, you've got a lot more time to because you have to you have to be in the fight longer. So kind of a toss up there. Okay, well for now, what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do let's just do that. Let's get that. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. I think I'm just going to offhand the or two hand the old whip. Let's try to get past uh, these first guys. Those are, yeah, that's at least some damage. So yeah, we'll just stick with the uh, stick with the old whip for now. Interesting. So that so the durability held up okay with the with the durability ring and everything. All right, got a lot of damage heading our way on this guy. It's effigy up and a life gem. And I think I'm definitely going to definitely going to sell my blade for this one too. Then we'll see what see where we're at afterward. Okay. All right. At least we got out of there after that first part, so now we can kind of take advantage of the stairs. Good grief, that's some damage. So yeah, so old whip was definitely the key to our to our problems here. Oh, good to know we at least have good to know we have that. We almost didn't get the old whip either. You know, I went ahead and did lit all of the sconces in uh, things betwixt, and it was the very last petrified something. That had the uh, had the old whip in it. So yeah, if we hadn't been persistent on on getting everything, we might not have actually gotten it. <laughs> and then where would we be? <laughs> so guys, hey, it's completely different too. You might remember, might remember there was a uh, priestess. I want to say that would be shooting lightning at you in the in the vanilla Dark Souls too. And yes, that means you'd have an enemy bombarding you with these, this huge AoE lightning attack uh, whenever you're trying to fight those Drake Keepers, which was not good times. Okay. So, we'll go ahead and skip the uh, Ultra Great Sword guy for now. And we'll come back for him later. Uh, heading, to, heading to this alternate lower route doesn't trigger... isn't a trigger warning for any of the... any of the uh, Drake Keepers. Okay. Oh, hey! I guess it is. Well, I was—I've uh, been wrong before. Hmm. Well then, and they ruined wh whatever was in that treasure chest too. Uh, we know my luck was a petrified something, but. <laughs> oh well. All right, so. Yeah, I, I th I'm guessing you do have to kill the the ultra the ultra sword Drake Keeper there. This guy should be safe to use the use a dual attack on. He's a bit he's a bit slower to uh, attack, especially if he just decides to spam that move over and over again. Yep, fair enough. All right, and then. Oh, do I... Okay, I do still have that. Weird. Seemed like I lost a lot more durability that time. I have given up trying to understand uh, this stuff. Let's get our... old whip ready. Nice. That's the best part of fighting him on those stairs. A lot of, the, a lot of those really cheap horizontal attacks will miss you. 
And I am all about in trying to do things to make this part easier. The uh, the Ultra Sword, uh, Ultra Great Sword, uh, Drake Keeper, is the one most like the Old Knights, and they're very similar to the Old Knights. And in that he has a pretty predictable pattern and has the least amount of uh, HP. Oh, whoops. <laughs> okay. Kind of bait the attack. There we go. Oh, yeah, he can mix it up with that with that alternate swing, but it's a little slow, so at least he didn't uh, didn't hit. All right. So, are you guys going to let me go now? God, jerks. Ruining the treasure chest. I think the idea is that they're expecting you to try to run down there and grab the shade to help you clear the help you clear the area. And it's like, yeah, can't allow that. Okay. So this is probably the most annoying of the Drake Keepers. The the one with the hammer is the probably the most uh, frustrating, but this guy can just be a real real nuisance because he doesn't do as much damage. But almost all of his attacks guard crush you, and he'll, he's one of the few enemies that will use a shield to uh, to guard crush, even if you're not actually blocking. And a guard crush, you know, one of those, the great shield hit, is an auto stun. Yeah. And it comes out pretty quickly, as you can see, too. So, I'm going to two-hand the... Uh, yeah, well, so I, can't, I can't actually use those two, right? Try to get him poisoned and then uh, back away. Ouch. Yeah, it just comes out so quickly and it's a guard crush, so that just leaves you open to his other attacks. At least, I gotta say, if there is a good thing to say about these enemies, especially in Scholar, is they only use them once or twice each. Yeah, it really should not... Uh, Really should not guard crush you unless uh, you're actually trying to block. Okay. Ah. Yeah. Oh, I did get the poison off though. Frustrating. Oh well, we kind of we kind of have the kind of have the number on the first two guys, so we'll just you know keep making our way through there. The reward for going the third going that way is the third dragon ring, which is probably the best ring in the game. So definitely worth uh, definitely worth doing. I, I think nah, I don't need I don't need sunlight blade for this one. Yeah, that's the one. Uh, that's also a lot like the old knights. Where you can kind of you know, follow around behind them, unlocked, and I shouldn't use should use use old wood for that last hit, and uh, just go ahead and get them anyway. All right. And I can imagine if we didn't go out of our way to pick up the <laughs> to pick up the durability ring plus two, and the old wood would be doing even worse. I wonder if the R2 would do that. That's, that's okay. Alright. Oh, I think I hit that guy. Welp. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Rip a blood stain. <laughs> you basically get nothing for killing the dragons. They're not worth a lot of souls. And the best thing you get for them are their, their weapons. I think, I, think you, I think you get there with the chance to drop their weapons, which of course we're not using, so. It, uh, just on a game mechanics level, the fact that uh, the Dragon Shrine is so horrible for your soul memory, so each enemy is worth about, you know, 2,000, and a lot of times you don't get to keep it if you're having trouble, you're having trouble getting past the other uh, enemies.
Okay. Oh, I meant to uh, switch off uh, power stancing there so I could have hit him with a spotted whip and save some durability, but that's all right. Hmm, we're almost due to uh, effigy back up again. Fortunately, we have a lot of these things. This is the last time we're really going to want them. Are you <laughs> should start aggroing again any minute now. Oh, that'll work too. <laughs> I will take it. So, but up here, hopefully, we've got some juice left on Sunlight Blade. We can take out this guy with it. Yeah, the important thing for this guy is to just keep the pressure up since he doesn't have as much HP as the other guys, as a very kind of uh, exploitable combo. There we go. All right. Uh, I think we'll save the... You know what? Uh, this is what I brought the poison throwing knives for. We have the poison ring on, right? No. Let's go and grab that. I think I'm just going to poison the uh, poison the Drake Keeper, the the, the War Pick uh, Drake Keeper. There's a mouthful, <laughs> and just to try to take him on that way. So, so I can even get some hits in through the uh, through the wall there. <laughs> Okay, yeah, will be taking poison build up. There we go. Then I'll back away and uh, rinse and repeat. I totally not mind fighting these guys without honor if they're going to be so obnoxious about it. But the, yeah, the biggest problem is the is the, is the stun on that uh, on the tower shield bash. And it kind of makes sense they're being hit with a you know giant sheet of metal that it would it would ruin your day. But yeah, it's it's almost impossible to recover from. These enemies do so much damage. It's you know, you, you need to have that moment to breathe if you uh, uh, don't have their timing down. And granted, like most enemies, it's like once you have once you have their timing down, like you saw how we got you know we've been beating the, the great sword guy or the straight sword guy uh, untouched a couple times. There we go. So upgrade our ring. You can see we're going to get a fair bit more HP, stamina, and uh, carry capacity from it. Definitely, definitely worth it. At that point, we don't actually need to go any further, but I'm going to go ahead and get the Dragon Covenant item anyway. Just to just to be thorough and hit the rest of the area. I have a feeling... Yep. I have a feeling we'll be able to handle him the same way we have most of the other reds with this uh, this playthrough. One cool thing about uh, Villard here is that he has a fairly slow weapon, so you can actually get behind him and uh, backstab him. Ah. But you have to have to deal with have to remember why, how many hits in the combo he's on, because he'll have enough stamina to do three or four. So I think we'll just stick with the. One. There we go. Yeah, you can just kind of count off, especially when he's two-handing. He's only going to have enough stamina for three. There we go. Yeah, f fights like that are pretty fun. Uh, how much Estus do we have left? Let's see, seven? That should, be pl that should still be enough. I was thinking I, should, I might need to start using some life gems if I need to keep my Estus through, but I think there's only actually one or two more enemies in uh, Scholar before we get to the Ancient Dragon, which we may go back and fight him if you guys want to see it, but I think for now we'll just go ahead and, uh, and not, not do that. Uh, yeah, we have all the giant souls so far, and if we're going to want to show off a Vendrick... Oh, Fragrant Branch, okay. If we're going to want to show off Vendrick, I may come back for the... For that last uh, soul. We're having enough problems with the damage with these whips that doing uh, half damage on a fairly tough 
enemy like Ventric would probably just be the fight a little too tedious. Whereas, you know, Ancient Dragon, it's a, it's possible to do the, you know, toenail clipping strats and not have much risk at all fighting him. Uh, let's see. Yeah, yeah we, we, won't, we won't need poison. We'll, we'll be using bleed. Let's see if I can stun him. This is the final. This is the final fight of uh, Dragon Shrine and Scholar. You have one uh, PvP Dragon dude. <laughs> I like all honorable PvP. Totally do your uh, pivot backstabs. <laughs> Super honorable. He's actually one. Of, he's actually one of the easier uh, Dragon guys. So he doesn't do a ton of damage, and his moves leave him so open. Lorax, well, fighting the guy you're going to skip be annoying. If so, you should totally do that. <laughs> uh, I think you've seen... I think I did the Vendrick fight someone on the Ashley uh, playthrough, if you remember that one. Oh, ouch. That's what I get for playing around with that guy. Jeez. Almost had him, too, and then kind of let up on the throttle. I do that a lot in fighting games, in general, actually. You just forget to stick the dismount. Okay, well, I think at that point we're probably down enough HP. We just got an effigy for killing Villard, that we will use that. And I should be able to run past the regular Drake Keepers to get back to where we were. And even if not... Even if not, they still run past pretty much everything else. Oh yeah, they, they were not happy about that. Well, I just want to get back up to where my where my blood stain was. There we go. Once you get to the Aha. Oh, backstabbed. Jerks. <laughs> okay, so the you have to make it to the ancient dragon before they stop chasing you. So I guess you will have to just to do that again. Uh, Lars has a very poor memory when it comes to remembering things about someone's stream and hasn't played himself, so okay. Yeah, uh basically the, the question is uh is that the ancient dragon is a fairly tough uh but is fairly time consuming and that he has a lot of HP and everything. But he isn't actually that difficult a boss once you know what you're doing. Uh, let's not do that one. Let's do. Let's do that, yeah. And uh, but by beating him, we get an item that makes the, act the eventual boss fight with Vendrick uh, easier. I swear, I think the unofficial ring that I should be that you should be using for the Dragon Shrine is the uh, is the um, a gape ring just to keep your soul memory from building up. Yeah, if we were doing PvP, I'd be a lot more upset about uh, losing the souls here, but as it is, it doesn't matter much. Okay. Um, I think. Hmm. That's doing a lot less damage. He must be weak to lightning. Yeah, I think he must be weak to lightning. That's probably what's, what the deal is there. Okay. Hmm. In that case... Hmm, nah. Now we'll be alright. Because yeah, this guy isn't, uh, this guy isn't too bad. Switch back to... Ah, uh, but he's fast enough. I don't really want to... I don't really want to power stance on him. So we'll stick with the old whip again. I'll switch if I need to. Alright. Yeah, yeah it must have been the and it must have been the ones chasing us. Then that should. There we go. Oh, Dragon Charm. Kind of hoping to get one of the actually I'm kind of hoping to not get one of the Drake Keeper weapons. Because wouldn't that figure? <laughs> you know, finally get them, and uh, on a run we can't use them. Okay. So, Notch Whip. 
and actually, actually we're doing well enough uh, durability wise on it. I think I'm just going to Sunlight Blade as soon as he starts heading our way and doing good old, uh, doing good old keep away strats on him. Okay. And then yeah, if we, if we end up running out of durability, I'll just go ahead and switch. Nice, that's, that's pretty good. I should be able to get a backstab on him. Oh, oh interesting. I'm having trouble getting the uh, in the backstabs. That's fine. The easiest one to do to backstab him on is when he does the big downward uh, downward power stance top. Uh, old with that risk, so yeah, let's not. Not risking any further. Like that. There we go. Yeah, we pretty much got him at this point. Oh, let's see, mixes things up like that. There we go. And a, ble and a bleed for good measure. <laughs> or 20, bleed it. <laughs> And with that, that is the last uh, dragon knight we actually need to fight. We said we can actually now run through this area. So that the last run through I did probably didn't need to happen, but you know, so it goes. So, curse of life is a curse of want. Yay! Okay, so with that done, we can now do the giant memories. That's the last part of the, that's the last series of dungeons before the end of the game. I imagine the ancient dragon is vulnerable. I know he's vulnerable to poison, and if he's vulnerable to bleed too, that would be a, that would be a pretty effective way of fighting him. Right. So let's go ahead and get the other uh, giant souls, which those are all back in the forest. So, matter of fact, we're gonna want to. Uh, I think we want this one. Yeah, I think they're all linked to to this bonfire. Let's see, and the the actual yeah the actual boss boss fight is yeah we'll do that one last okay don't waste my time jokers you can't even hurt me anymore <laughs> they totally could if we let them but speaking of you could be a nuisance interesting almost enough to almost enough damage to get him in one hit. That's one reason why I like having poise, <clears throat> just so you can uh, deal with those enemies. So you know, do do a small amount of incidental damage, but you can keep them from knocking you out of your attacks. Like that, if I hadn't had any poise at all, that I would have been stunned by the spear hits, and had to would have had to wait to pick my moment to uh, attack him. All right, you first. Memory of whoever you are. I can't keep these guys straight. All the giants look the same to me. <laughs> ah, right, the one where we can meet uh, Drummond. Okay, so we got a bunch of dead royal soldiers. We have the man himself. You are. We can get a gesture from him, and I think we can come back and get the Drenglea cat once we kill the last giant. Which, it seems like it goes with the Llewellyn set instead of the, uh, the, the Drang set. I think they even kind of acknowledge that in Dark Souls 2, where they have the Llewellyn set, and they call it the, they call it the Drang set, you know, the uh, Drenglea set, and it doesn't have the helmet with the Silky. I think he will... yeah. Your second time through, that there's actually a giant that would tend to walk right up to that door and attack you. Okay, test one. See if giants can bleed. Ooh, that was way early. Alright. 
interesting. So with the whip, you can kind of get a get a handle on what kind of range gear you're dealing with. Looks like they don't bleed, though. Or if they do, they didn't in those couple hits I was able to inflict. Fire seed, All right? Hmm. So we've got a. Let's see how well the old whip works on them. This fire, this part right here with the two melee ones in close uh, close combat, is probably the right time. Definitely the right time to use the uh, old whip. That just straight up one shot me. It did. Ouch. Like I, I didn't use a resin uh, on him then. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, I think we will. I know. Yeah, I know they can be poisoned. I guess it probably can't be blood. It might be worth a try though. Stone ring doesn't seem to make any difference either. So we'll do the uh, life ring to get a little bit more HP and human effigy back up. And I think I'm also going to, because, you know, poise doesn't matter on my end either. They do pretty much, you know, tons and tons of poise damage. We'll go ahead and do a little bit of uh, fashion souls here. Yeah, that kind of that kind of works. Yeah. Oh, yeah, there we go. Got our shadow claw feet. Uh, not this way. Go the other way first. Let's head right back to the... Yeah, the, basically the reason why you want to fight each one of the giant memories is that you get a giant soul at the end of them. And a fair bit of, of, uh, of XP and stuff like that, too. <laughs> Excuse me, guys. Coming through. I have business in that giant's mind. Yeah, would, would you let me pass? Yeah, let's get Sunlight Blade ready. And for this first guy, we will go ahead and use the Notched Whip, because he's not too bad. All right. Jeez. <laughs> Watch enemies slowly backpedal from you. that one. Seems like they, they tend to always do that follow-up, even if you're out of range of it. Seems they have, they have a problem with com commitment. They, they commit too easily. Okay, I think that was a bleed. Or oh, no, I think it was just a critical hit, because I don't see the red aura of a bleed on that guy. Alright. So my blade. And let's go ahead and two-hand this bad boy. Try to not get, <laughs> try to not be subjected to the uh, smackdown. Jeez. <laughs> I guess he hit the. I guess he hit the uh, the roof of that uh, the little, little tunnel there. All right. Got him. Interesting. I realized I kind of uh, had a poison range attack on you. Well, I think it's about time to get out of there. <laughs> See, is it uh, is the way this way? Yeah, let's hope we get out of there. I don't think I've ever seen. I don't think I've ever seen that poison or the or the uh, combo before. There we go. So it's those three down. That's and that's probably the trickiest part of it. The rest of it is a little bit of a nuisance with the some enemy pyromancers, but they're not too bad. And the main reason is that all of the giants and soldiers are all fighting each other, and you can just safely run right past them. Here's what we're going to do. Let's see, the big guy is guarding on nothing of import. Yeah, club. We will be fighting another giant up ahead, so I'm not going to waste my time with that one. Well, let's go and see what's in here. Kind of interesting that all the souls are being drawn to you, too. Uh, not a petrified dragon bone, but petrified something is still good. Okay, so we're going to want to go through here. And... Yeah. So here is the pretty much the only other tricky part of this giant memory. That's you have a... You have one of the big warrior guys up here... And not a whole lot of room to fight him with. 
at least you know they the damage they do doesn't seem to have scaled up from when they were in the uh, when they're in Black Gulch. Okay. I should probably be using the I'll be using the uh, poison whip. One thing that is kind of neat and that reinforces just how, you know, how tough these guys are is the fact that so many of their attacks they knock you down. Oh. Can't <laughs> get greed. <laughs> it worked. Alright, then I think there's... Put that. Soul of a great hero. And we have a giant soul. All right. So now the now we've we're now we're done with this part for anything except for anything else we want to head back and grab, which I think we can. Hello, I think we can head up and head up that ladder and go fight the go fight this pyromancers if we really want to. But uh, I don't think we really want to. I'm gonna also grab a couple more souls for purposes of getting our strength to. Uh, Getting our strength to uh, 18. Oh, yeah, if we're getting double teamed here, yeah, let's just not risk that. <laughs> let's definitely not risk uh, not risk that. Interesting. I wonder where the other... Oh, I think it was, like, up there. Yeah. Yeah, once the Ashen Mist is thinned, you get about, what's it, like 30, 45 seconds, maybe, maybe a minute to finish whatever you were doing, and then uh, everything starts fading to gray, and you will be kicked out of the memory. All right. That's one down. What's up, guys? <laughs> All right. Huh? Pick that up. And yeah, gauntlets. Okay, there should be enough... XP to level up, indeed it is. <laughs> nice, like the other player getting a backstab on the guy hacking away at the giant. Yeah, but I really like how this all kind of comes full circle. Because you've got the the hollow soldiers, you know, and it's like, why are they attacking those trees? Then you find out they're not just uh, they're not just you know trees, but they're actual giants. And uh, then then you come to the the giant memory part of it. Like, yeah, those are soldiers that have been hollowed for however many hundreds or thousands of years even. Uh, and, you know, just still doing what they were, you know, trying to kill those uh, giants. Bearer of the okay. So we're going to uh, get that strength. Finally, we can power stance our notched whip. And then let's head to the next uh, giant. And that'll be where Percy was the first time. You can see with that orange border that that's one of the few areas that still has some multiplayer activity from the early part of the game. That's yeah, that's all. That's people doing this part of the doing this part of the content. Okay. So let's do notch whip and spotted whip. Not bad, not bad. I think this. I think this will be the way to do it. And then whenever we need the extra firepower and at a, at a more safe, uh, is it, if we yeah if we need safe damage, then we can use the the, the old whip and and a two hand that. Right. <laughs> I do like when you're coming back to these earlier areas, you can just power right through blocking enemies with your. Higher tier stats and uh, base damage. Oh, got a, I got a critical hit, but it still wasn't quite enough. It looks like. Yeah, not quite enough. Yeah, and ultimately that's the thing that's been that's providing mo most much of the challenge that I've had, in in this run. It's just the fact that slash is just such a bad damage type. Because on paper, the damage and range of the whips actually isn't bad. But you consider that you're doing like half damage to so many different enemies, or or possibly even worse. I don't know exactly how the damage uh, math works, but uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, this is where we can meet Ben, and he'll actually be in the memory too. 
which indicates that he's gotten a hold of a an national mist card himself somehow. And yeah, we can get his Blue Moon Great Sword either by doing doing three boss fights with him, just like Lucy, or we can uh, we, or we can pry it from his cold dead hands. I've actually have done that a couple times. 